dear students today we will study about the sources of the harappan civilization already we have studied about the first source that is the great bab and today we will study about the second source of harappan civilization that is the sitadel the raised area of each city was called the sitadel here sitadel means in indus valley civilization the cities which were found in the indus valley civilization each city had a raised area raised area and such a raised area of each city whether it is harappa or mohenjodaro or lothal whichever cities were found in indus valley civilization in the in the cities the raised area is called as the sitadel and this sitadel the raised area had the houses of the ruling class houses of the ruling class that is the kings houses were uh, built in this raised areas and also important buildings are also found in the area citadel such houses are known as great bath the granary the assembly hall and the workshops these big buildings or huge buildings were built in the raised areas so these raised areas were called as the citadel in the next source which we have to study about the harappan civilization is the seals the seals used by the harappans show their artistic skills we historians also they have found out some seals found in the harappan sites or indus valley sites so these seals are very much artistic uh, skills found on the seals about 2000 seals have been discovered the historians or archaeologists they have discovered about 2000 seals in this uh, indus valley site of this great majority comprise short inscriptions with the pictures of one horned bull buffalo tiger goat elephant and rhinoceros in this seals majority of the seals they have the pictures of bull buffalo tiger goat elephant and rhinoceros and these seals harappan seals provide useful information about the script and also about the trade religion beliefs of the harappans the seals which are found these seals give us information about the about the trade as well as their script religion and their beliefs of harappan civilization and also some seals of pashupati also are discovered and show that people believed in shiva some seals which are found in the indus valley civilization are uh, some seals are also called as pashupati seals in this seals the pashupati or the lord shiva's picture also has been discovered it means that people of indus valley they believed the uh god shiva it shows a three faced deity wearing a 
बफेलो हॉर्ड हेड्रेस सीटेड क्रॉस लेग्ड ऑन ए थ्रोन एंड सराउंडेड बाय एन एलिफेंट ए टाइगर बफेलो एंड राइनासोरस एंड विद टू डियर एट इज फिट सो दिस डायटी हैज बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एज ए पशुपति महादेव सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द सोर्सेस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन एंड ऑल्सो द फोर्थ सोर्स वी हैव दैट इज द बियरडेड मैन बियरडेड मैन द स्टोन स्कल्पचर ऑफ ए मैन विद द बियर्ड was discovered from mahenjadaro so this bearded man who has beard this type of a statue also is found in the city known as mahenjadaro the statue has a shawl worn over the left shoulder and the eyes are half closed if you see here the person is wearing the shawl and also he has a eyes are half closed this statue shows that some scholars believe that this is the statue of a yogi the historians by seeing this statue they have come to a conclusion that this statue is of a yogi who is meditating or also uh, may be praying this sculpture is of high artistic value and points to the existence of skilled artists artisans in the harappan village this statue by seeing this statue historians come to a conclusion that the there were the skilled artisans who are also lived during the harappan civilization another important source available to study about the harappan civilization is the dancing girl the bronze statue of a dancing girl found at mahendradaro is a masterpiece of art it shows a high degree of development in the art of sculpture we see here another statue bronze statue of dancing girl is also found in the mahenjadaro so this statue of dancing girl is also shows a high degree of development in the art of sculpture and the statue shows vigor variety and ingenuity the right arm of the dancing girl rest on the hip and the left arm is heavily bangled it holds a small ball against her left leg if you see her the dancing girl her hand right arm is kept on on her hip and another left hand is fully heavily bangled or bangles are shown on the left hand and it holds the small ball on her leg leg this statue also is a very much uh, useful to study about the indus valley civilization